This training is going to go through Hootsuite and show you how to use it for Twitter, for scheduling your tweets, for searching keywords, etc. So first you're going to go to Hootsuite.com, going to sign in if you already have a sign in or log in. Um, we're already signed in now. Waiting for my slow computer to load up. X out of this. All right, so right now we're under um, Jeremy Holmes, which is a realtor. I'm actually going to log out so that I can use Industrial Bank. So we're going to sign out here. This is where the login is. I'm going to use the whatever your email address is and password. All right, so this is what the dashboard looks like. It's going to show you any accounts that you have set up. So you can set up Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. But because of Facebook's algorithms and how they rank the importance of your uh, post, I only use Facebook Scheduler to schedule there. And I really, I don't care for the way it shortens URLs. So I don't like to use it for LinkedIn either because it doesn't, show up on LinkedIn as graphically, aesthetically pleasing as it should. Um, so I'll really just use it for Twitter. And this is already set up here so that I have columns for my homepage. So here's where I'm going to see all the tweets that the people I follow are tweeting. My tweets are what I've put out so I can get an idea of what tweets I've put. The mentions are right here. So this is where everybody has mentioned me or um, responded to something that I've tweeted here and this is where I'll see the scheduled tweets as I schedule them. So going in first you're going to make sure and in this case this is the only account I have set up and this is all you'll need for the industrial bank account but you have that connected and you can have multiple different accounts connected at once too but for this you just need the one. Now in order to schedule your tweet you're going to type it out here as you can see, the counter is going down, so you see how much space you have. Of course, with Twitter, you want to make your tweets as short as possible, um, but without being too abbreviated that it looks robotic or doesn't make sense. If you have a link, you can put it here. So let's say we want to put um, facebook.com slash industrialbank1934. Let's say you know some URLs are very, very long and you might want to shrink it for space. So you could put it there and shrink it and they'll automatically put it here for you. Notice the ow.ly. That's kind of the tell that you're using Hootsuite. So now when you're on Twitter and you notice and you see that in somebody's URL, that means it's a scheduled tweet or that they posted it from Hootsuite. Um, so that's the one thing that, you know, I hate for every tweet to have that in it at the same time. Um, it is a good tool for shortening your URLs. Also, your image you can attach here. So you can also, let's see if I have any images on my desktop. I'm going to use one just to show. So if you have um, your images already ready, you can drag it over like this and it'll upload and again you can see how that also contributes to your space in the tweet or you could have just clicked attach image and select your file to upload the same way and it would show up right here for you once your tweet is complete the way you have it you can do two things you can uh, schedule it you can simply choose a day on this calendar here and say, okay, Thursday, July 2nd at 6.55 p.m. and hit schedule. 
you'll see it show up when your scheduled thing request um, I'm sorry when your schedule column refreshes so this is what your tweet looks like so now you see okay it's gonna look exactly like this your wording your link and your graphic also though you can schedule this tweet as well you can also just send now but again if it has a URL I'd rather you just send it through Twitter but if it's easier from this desktop that's fine or you can hit schedule and you can have auto schedule what this tool does when you turn that on is that they check when your audience is going to be uh, most engaged and most present and they'll decide when it goes out so you can just click auto schedule and let's see what time they put it for they did that one for 6 15 p.m. the only thing about auto schedule is that let's say I have five tweets that I want to schedule if I hit auto schedule for all five it'll say probably like 6 15 6 30 6 45 and in our case we probably want to just make sure we schedule at least one tweet per day maybe for the week um, just to make sure that there's something there so I'd probably prefer that you choose the date that you want to schedule it for so this is the second you can schedule one for the third you know you can try different times to see which get more engagement um, keep in mind too that with your tweet you can also um, still use people's ads and all of that there too so they'll help you kind of fill in the blanks when you start um, to put in a followers uh, username there as well and that's it and then with these mentions you can also uh, retweet from here but it's not the same uh, you're not able to quote it oh actually you are now so you can hit yes to just retweet the quote feature though you have to make sure you put that um, let's test it and see what that looks like Yeah, so it just it doesn't do the box uh, thing like within Twitter for iPhone where you quote now and it has the box with the original tweet. So you definitely will put the RT there. But you can engage from here if you just want to come into Hootsuite to spend time. Uh, you can also use Hootsuite on your phone. There's an app for Hootsuite. It's pretty similar in the way you use it as well where you can write up your tweet, uh, add the image, and then schedule it for later. So let's say if you only have free time in the afternoon, maybe... Oh, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. you have time but you really don't want the tweet to go out till later you can schedule it for later and then let it go out or you can sit down one day and just schedule out a whole week if you prefer um, but once your content is approved you can see it's not very hard just like in Facebook schedule you can go in and schedule them you can go in and schedule the similar content uh, prepared for Twitter this way as well and when that's all scheduled, you can also send a message to say, hey, can you check, you know, the scheduled tweets? And we can look at that again to make sure everything's okay. Um, but that's it. It's pretty simple. Just let me know if you have any questions specifically about how to get into the Hootsuite account or how to write your tweet, schedule your tweet, or attach to the tweet. Um, but again, this is pretty straightforward, and we're just going to use this for Twitter.